Good afternoon. Once again, our top story today, the head of the Buffalo Catholic Diocese releasing the names of local priests this morning. Priests who were removed from the ministry because of credible child sex abuse allegations. Now, we first saw this list this morning on the Twitter page of the Catholic Diocese. There are 42 names on the list. This move reverses five decades of secrecy. The 7 Eyewitness News I team has been following this story from the very beginning. Our chief investigator, Charlie Speck, is here in the studio with us today with the latest on what's happened this morning. Okay, this is an unprecedented step, at least in Buffalo, toward transparency by the Diocese of Buffalo, which moments ago released a list of 42 priests who since 1950 were removed from ministry or retired or left ministry after allegations of sexual abuse of a minor. Now, there are some names on this list that will surprise nobody, men such as Father John Aurelio, Father Bernard Mock, who confessed to raping young boys in the 1990s and have since died. There are men who have never been named, but who the 7 Eyewitness News I team was already investigating, Father Mark Friel, now retired, and Father Fred Fingerly, who ministered in Hamburg and Whitesville, are just two of those names. And then there's some that come as a complete shock to many. Father Basil Ormsby, longtime pastor of St. Teresa's Church in South Buffalo, beloved by many in that Irish Catholic community. Victims, though, will no doubt feel validated that for the first time, the Catholic Church in Western New York has acknowledged publicly that some of its own shepherds were doing irreparable damage to the flock here. And for many, this news really brings an immeasurable amount of sadness that comes with knowing that the men they trusted, beyond all others, violated that trust so horribly, and the church they were faithful to kept it hidden for so long. What do you think the fallout is going to be from all of this? I think, as I understand it, tell me if I'm wrong, the diocese has set up a fund already to try and take care of any claims from any of these uh, victims. That's right, they have. And they acknowledge that this may not be the final list. There may be more that people come forward uh, to report, and they encourage uh, calls to the diocese. All right, if you're interested in more information, we'll have uh, full reports coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 5, 5.30 and 6 tonight. In the meantime, on our uh, website at WKBW.com, also on our WKBW TV News app, you can see the entire list uh, that the diocese released this morning of all of the priests involved in this story. Charlie, thanks for the update.